Good morning everyone. My name is Dr. Saurabh Roy. Today we will discuss one of the most important part of fundamental of electrical and electronics engineering. We start a new subject. That subject in your second semester, one of the important course which consists of 100 marks. Okay. So before going through the lectures, first we will discuss what is electrical and electronics engineering. So electrical engineering is a branch of an uh, engineering which discuss with the high power high power basically and electronics which is discuss about the low power. So if you see the electrical engineering so here in electrical engineering we are uh, deals with high power transmission line we also see how the power connections and also uh, one part is or there is low power transmission section. So earlier the electrical and electrical electronics engineering both are in same branch. But now the application of electronics engineering is huge. So the branch is separated. So we have seen in the electronic engineering. So basically it deals with low power. The power is 5 volt, 10 volt or 20 volt. But electrical engineering basically deals with high power. That power is near about 230 volt. So in these courses, we will see the basics or fundamentals of electrical and electronics engineering, which are required throughout different branches, means in different branch also, these things are required. Okay. So first we will see the overview of unit one. So unit one, there are basically introduction to passive and active component, resistances, capacitors, inductors, diode, transistors voltage source, current source, AC and DC signal, periodic and non-periodic signal, key show voltage and current loss, star delta transformation and simple problems on all topics. So these are the basic topics of unit one. So we'll discuss one by one. First one is active component. So active component, the name itself, uh, the electronic devices or component that have the ability to control the flow of electrons or electric currents in a circuit. So now it is active. Basically it is active. So here, if you see the ability to control the flow of electrons or electric circuit current in a circuit, then it is called the active components. These components are typically used to amplify or switch electronic signals. They are also require a power source to function. The example are diode, transistor and operation amplifier. So these are the example of active components like these are the transistors, these are the diode, this one is a PN junction diode and this one is the Zener diode, okay. So which is act as a voltage regulator also. So this comes under active components. So active component are electronic devices or component that have the ability to control the flow of electrons or electric current in a circuit. So basically it has the ability. Now coming to the uh, details of diodes. So diodes are semiconductor devices that allow the flow of current in one direction only. So which function is? It allows the flow of current in one direction only. They have two terminals, an anode and a cathode, and are commonly used in rectified circuit to convert AC to DC. Okay. They also find application in voltage regulation, signal modulation, and production circuits. So PM, there are different types of diodes are available, like PN junction diodes, Zener diodes, short key diode. So based on our application or requirement, uh, we used use the types. So so diode. Uh, in details, we'll see in the, the in fourth unit, we'll discuss about the diode. Now, coming to transistor. Transistors are electronic device used to amplify or switch electronic signal. They're made up of three layers of semiconductor material and can be either NPN or PNP triad. Transistor revolutionized the electronics industry in the 20th century and continue to be fundamental blending block in modern electronics. So, this is the transistor. If you see, this is the a three terminal uh, emitter base and collector okay so uh, this is the different types of transistor and uh, the symbol of transistor is looks like that so this is the symbol of NPN transistor so transistor are electronic devices used to amplify or switch electronic signal we have already seen amplifier which are increased the volume and uh, increase the strength of the signal so this is one of the major application in amplification transistor. Now coming to the next part that comes under passive component. So active component we have seen diode as well as transistor. So passive component are fundamental building block and electronic circuit that 
cannot amplify or control the flow of current. They can, but they can store, filter, and dissipate electrical energy. So passive component basically they cannot control the flow of current, but they can fund that cannot amplify or control, but they can store, filter, and dissipate electrical energy. So these are the different passive component like resistance, then diode, then this one is uh, sorry, this one is capacitors, next inductors. Okay. So these are the different passive component which are used to store, filter, and dissipate electrical energy. Now comes under one of the major passive component or we can say that resistance. So resistance, what is resistance? So resistance is the measure of opposition to the flow of current in a circuit. So this, uh, uh, it is measured in ohms and it determines how much voltage is required to push a certain amount of current through a circuit. It influenced by factors such as material, shape and temperature of a conductor because if the material or shape changes or temperature changes then also resistance is very Okay, so it is how much uh, opposed to the flow of current in a circuit, it, it is called resistance. Okay, so now we will see these are the different types of resistance and this is the symbols of the resistance. So this is the resistance symbol. It measured already we mentioned that measured in ohms. Okay, it influenced by factors such as material shape temperature of a conductor. If it temperature of a conductor is changes then also the resistance value is changes. If material mm, is changes, then also resistance is changes. If shape is changes, then also resistance is changes. So these are the basically basic component. Okay. So apart from resistance, there are other two common uh, which we are used regularly in our daily. Field. Those are called capacitors as well as inductors. So first we'll see the capacitor. So this one is the capacitor. So capacitors are passive electronic component that store and release electrical energy. They consist of two conductive plates. So this one is a one conductive plate and this one is the another conductive plate. Two conductive plates separated by a dielectric material. So in between them, that is the dielectric material. Okay. So these are the dielectric material. Capacitance is the measure of the amount of charge that a capacitor can store. Capacitor are used in various electronic application including filtering, smoothing and timing circuit. Okay. So capacitors are the passive electronic component that store and release electrical energy okay so they consist of two conductive plates separated by dielectric material capacitance is the measure of the amount of charge that a capacitor can store we can see the capacitor including filtering smoothing and timing circuit. now coming to the next one what is inductor inductor also another passive electronic component that store energy in a magnetic field that store energy in a magnetic field they consist of a coil of wire wrapped around a magnetic core. When current flows through the coil, a magnetic field is created storing energy. So inductors are used in electronic applications such as filter, oscillator and power supply. So these are the common, so this is the inductor, okay. So which comes under or we have seen different passive component like resistance, capacitors as well as Inductor. So, uh, in our next lecture, we will see uh, the other things of unit 1 like voltage sources, current sources, then KBL, Kishop voltage law, Kishop current law, okay, and uh, sinusoidal signal, signal, periodic signals, etc. Thank you.